Hi guys, it's Michelle from Little Mama's House and I'm here today because I'd like to do a quick reveal for you and show you two bags that I thought uh, you might like to see. So I'm just going to get right down to it and we'll start here. And this bag is a customer's bag. This is a Peppa Lung. And she sent it to me to have all of the leather dyed in black. And it just came out so adorable. So I wanted to show you guys because I haven't shown you one of these yet on here. How, how the pavilion looks once you've dyed the vachetta black. And it just it came out absolutely gorgeous. This is actually ready to go back. It's all finished and um, all sealed up um, using Resoline. So I wanted to show you that. It came out really beautiful. I think she's going to be really happy. That. And it just gives it, I think, I think, at least a little bit of a more um, modern look for this bag. Um, and hopefully it means that she'll carry it more than she was before. So the second bag actually has a little bit of a funny story. My husband found this bag and, you know, he asked me, oh, was it real? Do you think it's real? Because the price was pretty low. And I checked it out and it was definitely authentic. And so we went ahead and we offered for the lady to buy it locally, and she sold it to us. We actually even got it for less than what she had it listed for. And it is the cute little Manhattan PM. So this bag I am going to keep for my own collection. But first, before, before it permanently joins its brothers um, upstairs, I'm going to take it to Louis Vuitton because it, it looks like it's you know not too bad. It's in pretty good shape. Um, it has a couple of issues. One, it has a pen mark. You can see that right there on this chat. Um, and I can probably remove that more than likely. More likely than not, I can remove that and sort of wash this down with saddle soap or whatever, and it will look just fine. However, it also has some severe, you can see right there especially, um, tears on the corners. So what I am going to do is because we got this again for such an incredibly um, a nice low price, I am going to take this out, um, go to go pay a visit to Kylan out at my Louis Vuitton store and probably at least get all the piping replaced on it and probably get a quote to also replace the remainder of the bachetta. But I did want to show you this. This bag is a USA made bag and it was made in 2007. Here's the interior, nice and clean. I mean, a little bit, that's just some dust in there and I'll, I'll take that right out with a lint roller. Nothing that needs to really be cleaned, no stains or anything, no odors. Um, but the reason I was so excited when he showed me this was because when the Manhattans first came out, when I was in high school, um, obviously not in 2007, but when they first came out, um, I was in high school and I went to high school as many of you know and some of you have asked. I went, I am from right outside New York City and so when I went to high school, it was a rather affluent area and every high school girl wanted the Manhattan. I mean this was like the bag to have um, in high school and I did not have one actually, ironically. My first Louis Vuitton was a Pavillon, ha ha. So this is what I had. And even though I loved it, I still love it. I still have it upstairs. It's still part of my collection. What I wanted was this bad boy. And I never, I never got it. So I never had had a Manhattan. And so when my husband saw, you know, saw this one and was like, oh yeah, you can keep that one for your collection. I was like, yes, it's a Manhattan. I was so excited. So here it is. It's my little Manhattan PM. And of course, as I always do, um, I'm going to give Kylan a call, see when I can bring this to her, and then um, I will show you the results after it's had, you know, I'm debating whether I want to have the handles and chats done and just have the whole thing done, or whether I'm just going to have the piping done. We'll see. And that'll, we'll save that as a surprise because I really don't know yet. I want to get a price and see, price it out first. But I will let you know how the repair, which repair I choose and how it comes out once that's all finished. So again, um, I just wanted to share these two cute little bags with you and show you what's been going on. I have a bunch of customer bags I'm working on. Um, so once those get, like as those get finished up, I will of course show you. Um, most of them are things you've seen already, but it's always fun to see them as they roll out. So please make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any fun content coming up. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.